friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review this collection of poetry for you. It is called Lace Bone Beast Poems and Other Fairy Tales for Wicked Girls by N.L. Shampole. And the poet is a lady from Kenya. And I was really excited to like read this poetry book. But I actually picked up this poetry collection on a recommendation from one of my friends here on booktube and because they rated it five stars and they were raving about it and I was like okay like I want to pick it up so I finally got around to reading it and while they rated it five stars and loved it and thought it was great writing and like super fantastical like hmm I only rated this collection two stars. It just goes to prove that like poetry is such a personal thing. What is like good to one person may not be good to another and it's the same way with like books and comics and graphic novels and basically anything you read. It's what you you know can relate to and so forth um, but this was just kind of it boggles my mind that this is good poetry. It has such high ratings on Goodreads, but not a lot of people have actually read it. So I want to like keep my eye on it and see, you know, what people are saying, like maybe a year from now, two years from now, or if this is just going to like fade into the dust. Um, but yeah, so I rated this two stars. I did tab I always tap poetry because I want to be able to go back and read the things that I loved and avoid the things that had me going. What in the world was that? Um, so I did tab a couple of poems in here, but there were definitely more up here that I did not even understand how it was a poem. I will give you several examples. If you check out my Goodreads page, um, I'll have that linked as well. I give several other examples for quotes at best and were very similar to other quotes that I've heard from like more prestigious people. It just didn't feel unique enough. It didn't feel original. It didn't feel... I don't know, it didn't make me feel anything other than frustration and confusion and I really want to DNF this. But I was hoping that like at the end there would be this epiphany and there just wasn't. It just definitely was not for me. There was a lot of repetition, there was a lot of unnecessary repetition, and every poem it seemed had a lot of repetition so it just kind of all melded together um there were mistakes maybe it's like is that art or is that just an you know mistake but some of the ones that i wrote on my goodreads review thing was um here's one teeth don't grow in the dark that's it that that's that's the entire poem right there uh, let's see another one love if nothing else forgive yourself what another one truth I am all teeth end of poem <laughs> those are very easy poems to remember so I didn't really get this there was a lot of like spatial issues and like I just didn't understand the formatting or the layout the cover is beautiful I mean 10 out of 10 do recommend for the cover but the inside is what is bothering me and that's what you really buy the book for this one that I actually liked in here and it's called disasters of the heart and other cataclysms in the event of a cataclysm, fall. Fall out of the sky with all the force of a burning plane. Swallow a kaleidoscope of butterflies if only to feel the softness of their wings between your teeth. Cry. Let the salt water burn the open wounds. Crumble, disintegrate into ash and bone and dust. Let the winds carry you out to sea. So why is something so beautiful like that mixed with like the bizarreness of teeth don't grow at night? Like I just don't get it. It's definitely not cohesive. I didn't get it. There was more that I didn't like or didn't. I don't think that I related to or 
you know, felt something from anything, but I definitely thought that there were some good things in here, but there were definitely more like not good things in here. So I would avoid this poetry collection unless you're one of those people like me that I just like have to see what it's all about. So I will have this linked in the description box for you, the Goodreads page and where you can purchase it. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me for this little ranty review. I just, I don't get it and I don't understand how someone could rate this like five stars. Like I said, on Goodreads, it has like really good reviews. And I'm over here like, what in the world did I just read? But yeah, thank you for joining me. I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.